What's up, everybody? It's your boy Meme Her. I'm dying, I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'm dying. Uh, my hair looks really weird. That's because I laid on the couch for a long time. For a long time. I have hiccups right now. Adam's sick. Um, today is the 17th of December. Here it is, here. to go reindeer. at 7 30 this morning because of the power of ZQL. Um because I went to bed at like 10 30 last night or like 10 45 more like and I woke up at 7 30 and that was good. I put my sheath into the washing machine. I um got my uh jeans out of the washing machine. I yeah uh I put I got my jeans out of the washing machine. Um no last night I <laughs> sorry last night I put my jeans into the washing machine and this morning I took my jeans out of the washing machine to let them air dry in the spare room. To let them air dry in the spare room. Um, sorry, I'm scratching my leg right now. And to let them air dry in the spare room. And then I put my bedding uh, in the washing machine. And now it's in the dryer. And now my sweatpants are being washed. I don't think I'm really sick. Uh, I took a COVID test. I tested negative. I don't have COVID. And I don't think I'm sick. Um, what I think I do have is some pretty bad allergies. On Friday, I went to a house party, and I love I love seeing some house parties. I love I love house par I love house parties, right? But the problem is that every house is a dog or a cat, and uh, I'm allergic to those things. And in the moment, it's fine because I just have a couple of allergy medicine. I just have a couple of allergy medicines, and it's fine. Um, but then when I get home, I'm covered in allergies, and I get everything else in my room co covered in allergies, and it, and then I'm functionally just sick. Um, when I'm not sick, I'm, it's just like there's a dog in my room. I've got that dog in me. Whoa, that's, I just feel this. This is way heavier than I expected it to be. Um, I don't know. Uh, my life is, is going really well, though. Uh, I'm cleaning everything. Um, as of right now, I have nothing that's, like, allergy full on me. That's why I'm washing my sweatpants and my bedding and everything because I want to get rid of all the allergy stuff. The plan is to start working tomorrow, but we'll see how that turns out. Wow, we'll see if I'm sick because I'm not going to work if I'm sick still. Even if it's just bad allergies, it'll go away eventually. It's just... I'm so lucky to have the job I have. My parents, my dad's doing a sleep study right now, so... My parents are out doing something. Uh, they think he has um, sleep apnea, uh, which I don't think you need a CPAP machine for anymore, which is great because that was the main reason why my dad didn't want to get a sleep study, but they were like, mm, you don't need to use a CPAP machine. They have like new things now, which is crazy. I, mean, I remember in my lifetime, people needed CPAP machines and it's crazy that all the older, you don't really need them anymore too much. I'm sure you still need them in certain cases, but like, for a lot of sleep apnea cases, I don't think you need a CPAP machine, and that's incredible. Uh, and that's just incredible to me, um, that people can, what, um, by the end of my life, like, we'll be so medically advanced compared to the beginning of my life, and it's just so astonishing, because things, only after 18 years of living, have been incredible. Things have gotten so cool. And by the end of my life, things will be really cool, you know? I hope there's like some sort of single-payer healthcare system in the US by the time I'm that old. Uh, mm, we'll see, I guess. Um, as you can guess, I'm pretty, pretty left-wing. Um, I would consider myself, I don't know why I'm talking about politics now, but I just think this is interesting. I would consider myself very left-wing and about 2020, uh, during about 2020, 2021 when COVID was happening, 
Um, I was in a fair, a lot of um, online community, like uh, I watched a lot of Bosch back in the day. And I still watch Bosch some, sometimes because I think he's a funny guy. Um, but, um, you know, I would watch Bosch and then I would be on his Discord server all the time and it was fun, you know. And everybody on the Bosch Discord server is like very left wing. I'm not even sure if it exists anymore. But, um, yeah, um, uh, I've been watching a lot of Destiny recently, like Stephen Bonnell, um, I don't know, he's, a little bit of a crazy person, but I, um, I appreciate how, um, logically he thinks. Um, it's like, Vosh stemmed from Destiny's community, and Hassan stemmed from Destiny's community, and I, I don't really like Hassan. I, I think he's cool, but, um, it's, um, I don't like the... He's so confident about everything, and I dislike how confident he is about everything. And Vosh is pretty confident, and Vosh gets it wrong sometimes, right? Um, and that can be bothersome, but Hassan is just, he's just so, like, he, he talks so matter-of-factly about everything, and it's like, do you, like, I don't know, I don't know, like, I, <laughs> like, it's just so, I like Hassan, it's just, he, sp he speaks so confidently about everything he says, and, you know, that, I'm sure that makes for a good, like, Twitch stream, right, but, um, and a good YouTube channel, but. He's just been wrong so many times, particularly about that Ukraine stuff, um, and um, he's being very, very, um, I don't even want to mention the Israeli Hamas thing. I'm not even going to talk about that, but, um, cause, oh my god, I mentioned it to my therapist, just as an aside, just as I remember talking to someone about it, um, and I just mentioned that as an aside, and we ended up talking about it for like 20 minutes. It's like an infectious concept. Um, if you bring it up, it's like, it, it, it worms itself into people's minds, and it's like, it's all you, they want to talk about. Um, and I think it's impossible, like, I feel like I'm the only person who can only talk about it, oh, who could talk about it for, like, less than 30 seconds. Because you mentioned it to anyone else, it's all they could talk, it's like, they, their mind was infected with this worm, you know, and they can only talk about the Israeli-Hamas conflict for, like, the next half hour, and it's horrifying. Um, Um, yeah, I'd still describe myself as a progressive, but that makes sense. I, I feel like there's like a 99% chance I would be a progressive considering I live, one, in Seattle, and two, that my parents are Democrats. So, you know, if you live in a blue city and your parents voted blue, it's just sort of an inevitability that their children will be left away. Um, so, I feel like, you know... My life was planned out that way, I guess. I'm able to record such long videos and such intricate videos when my parents are home because I don't have to worry about them talking in the background and interrupting the video. I'm excited to live on my own because then I won't have to worry about that ever. I can just record half an hour long videos every single day. It would be horrible, but I wouldn't mind it. You guys know that serial experiments lane meme where it's um 
Is the band called Boa or is the band called Duvet? Let's find out. Okay, it's uh, the song Duvet by Boa, and it's, that's the intro to the Serial Experiments Lane. Great show, by the way. Really, really um, interesting. It makes you think a lot. But anyway, um, it's like the intro, and typically the song goes like, I am, I am falling, I am fading, but instead, this meme it's lame, and it says, I am bawling, I am faded, and I just think that's funny. I think it's a funny video. Um, what else? I don't know. I don't know what else is going on, guys. I'm still sick. It's, it's kind of horrifying. Um, you know what I do? You know how whenever you have a can, there's always like a little bit left, but you can't get it because of this lip? Watch this. You go like this, and then you get a hole in it. Now, it's empty. And then when you put it, oh my god, that's horrifying, sorry guys. Um, and then when you put it in your recycling bin, it won't leak and make it all sticky. When I drank soda, I did that a lot, but now the only can of drinks I drink is coffee, so. having this issue where my Minecraft keeps crashing, so the thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add all my Minecraft mods one by one until I find out what's causing it to crash. What's this, which is probably just one of the worst things to do. It's horrifying. I love messing with Minecraft mod stuff, but if I just have a selection of like 20 client side mods I wanna use, it's kind of horrifying for every time I update the server for it to like be, be evil. Also, I backed up the server before the, um, update and uh, something that I did was I backed up the map, the online map of the server and I backed up the server itself um, but that took up all the storage on the drive and I didn't realize that and so when it did automatic, automatic backups that night um, it didn't turn the server back on because the script bugged out because there wasn't enough storage for a full server backup to transfer to my computer. Uh, Alright, see you dude.